If you are looking for university that has no application fee, no IELTS requirement for native English speakers, um, GRS calls are optional and they are finding opportunities, then this video is for you. Let me know in the comment section which program you are looking for a scholarship in. Example, you are looking for a master's in chemistry, leave it in the comment section, master's in chemistry or MSc chemistry, you are looking for PhD, PhD chemistry. I'm going to look for all these scholarships and I'm going to share it directly with you. Don't forget to like this video because it helps me to know the kind of content you like. So the more likes I see on a particular video, I know that okay, this is the kind of content you like and I'm going to create more content on these. If you haven't yet subscribed, this will be a great time to subscribe and hit the bell button. So whenever I post new videos, you will be the first person to get notified. This will be a two-part series. In the first part, I'm going to tell you about the opportunities available for this university and in the second part i'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step process to apply for this university before i start i would like you to know that the no application fee depends on the program you are applying for so we are going to look at the programs that are available in the university also if your program is not automatic for you there is a possibility to seek for an application fee waiver by just writing a letter detailing that you can pay the application fee because of the economic standards in your country. If you need any help, let me know in the comment section and I'm going to share a template with you. Before we look or talk more about the video, let me know in the comment section where you are coming from. Like this video, this helps the algorithm and help my channel to grow. So without wasting much time, let's have a look so we are going to start on this page as you can see application fee waiver in most cases international students are only eligible to receive a disc discretionary fee waiver and this is also very important most people feel that when they get a fee waiver they are not going to get admission you you get an admission and a scholarship has nothing to do with you getting a fee waiver and they place it here a candidate's eligibility for admission will not be impacted by a request for or receipt of a fee waiver. What this means is you getting a fee waiver does not mean that you are ineligible for admission or scholarship. So have this in mind. So we are going to go to the discretionary fee waiver. And this is it. What you need to do is you need to apply for the program. And when you get to the part where you have to submit your application, if they show that there is a fee, then you contact the program you're applying for and ask for a fee waiver. This is because as I initially told you, some programs are automatically waiving the application fee. So when you're applying for those programs, you do not have to pay. But for certain programs that do not waive it, you will need to request for this um, fee waiver. So now the next thing we are going to look at is to see the programs they do have. So you are going to just click on this. I've already opened the portal, but this is it. So they have so many programs. Anthropology, Astrophysics, Biological Sciences, they have the Engineering, Civil, Computer Science, Data Science, oh this is really good, Earth and Environmental Sciences economics like there are so many programs that you can apply for so take your time and look through and see if you are going to find something that is of interest to you so i have chosen some of the programs to just for you to have a fair idea of what i was talking about so this is i think this is electrical okay data science let's look at data science i'm also going to open for civil engineering I'll open for this and I'm going I saw economics I'm also going to open for economics so where is data science so this is the data science page there's degrees and program there's the emers you can choose I think I've already opened this tab okay I'm just going to choose data science MS the master of science So this is how it's going to look like. If you want to apply, you just need to click here to apply. Tuition, let me look, let's look at admissions. 
there was something I saw I wanted to show you. Okay, so this was it for the data science. Okay. So when you look at this program, they require unofficial transcripts. And for the IELTS, you just need to show that you are from an English speaking country. Three letters of recommendation, your statement of purpose. I have I have already made a video on how to write a statement of purpose. What you need to do is to go to my channel. It's always important to tailor your application. You go to playlist and you look for writing an effective statement of purpose. This is it. I may leave, I may leave this link in the description box or somewhere on top of the video. A lot of you have problems when I say I leave something in the description box and you do not know how to find it. It's very easy. So let's say I'm going to open this video. When you see the video like this, to find the description box, you just have, this is the description box, this part. So you just go for more and you will check and you will find it. Also, that reminds me, I've also started doing consultations. So if you want to talk to me one on one, you can use this link. To, to book a call is very cheap and let's talk and let's see how best I can help you. So that is not that is not the purpose for this video. So you just check the description box. You look at this for your statement of purpose and write your CV. Let's go back. So this is it. The deadline is December 15th. And yeah, this was a, there is no application fee. It's free to apply. So this is what I was talking about. And for this program, there are two deadlines. There's December 15th. If for if you want to study in the US, it's always important that you apply during the first priority deadline. The deadline for the program is varies. So this is the second deadline. You may or may not have a scholarship if you apply during this deadline, but because applic is free to apply, give it a shot. If you have HND, give it a shot, like because you are not paying for application fee. So the words they can say is no. So this is they tell you that okay for this they say you need a four year bachelor's to apply, but I would still advise that you give it a shot because you are not paying for application fee. The GRA is optional. You need a minimum GPO of three. Still give it a shot if you have a GP of less. This is it for just this program. Other programs will be different. So as I said, let's say electrical engineering. So, okay, I don't want to waste too much time on this. Let me look at economics. So when you visit the program website, what you should be looking for is, um, so this is Department of Economics. So plan your major, plan your PhD, meet our faculty. I will choose this. Apply to Vanderbilt. Okay, so these are the programs. This is not what I was looking for. Apply to Vanderbilt. I will go back again. Most of these things is all about playing with the website. Offers a major in economics. The department offers a major uh, degree requirement. Declaring okay, so this is not what I'm looking for. I'll go back again to Department of Economics Because what we did was that one was for undergraduates and that's not what I want I don't know if they do not have an MSc. So I'm gonna do your plan your PhD So the, the application deadline for you see what I told you that is different for each program the application deadline for a PhD program is January 15th and for this, they are taking application fee. So for a program like this, you need to send an email to request for a waiver information to submit. Okay, so we don't need test scores. So that is it. So if you qualify for a waiver, email to have requirements with an application. That's what I was talking about. So if there is a waiver, you need to check. Statement of purpose, qualifications. Let's see the qualifications. Our incoming students usually have an undergraduate degree in economics and mathematics with a significant, okay. Many international applicants have master degree, research experience, such as um, it's a plus. So, but for this program, I think you could also do direct master's to PhDs. They said many international, not all of them. So this is good to know. You look at your frequently asked questions. So 
So basically, this is it. So for all programs, you need to check. So this is what I was talking about. So now let's look at if you do want to apply. We've seen the programs. We've seen the waivers. Let's look at the scholarships or funding they have. Um, so this is the programs. I will go because I've already opened it, but I will show you. This is civil. I don't want to do civil anymore. So I'm going to close these tabs. Okay, so this is the university scholarships. So university tuition scholarship, service free hours that play all up that pays all or part of tuition course. So maximum award value is currently thirty five thousand for the nine month academic year. This award is supplemented by your university tuition scholarship, which usually includes student health insurance coverage. So they have fellowship, graduate assistantship. They have all these things. So let's look at the university graduate fellowship. The university is awarded to highly qualified students entering a PhD or the master's degree. It has the highest degree offered by the program. In order to be considered for this award, an applicant must be complete by January 15th. Individual departments nominate. So with this, the departments will nominate applicants for this um, award and decision announced by graduate school in March. So this is a stipend of 5000 to supplement your fellowship at the end of the third year. So this is it. So there are other ones. So there's a postgraduate and um, fellowship. The, these are the scholarships. That is once you submit your application, this is the tip. I would advise that you do send an email to the university, like to your programs coordinator that you are interested in a fellowship or assistantship. So you want to be considered or what do you need to do? So that is it for the University of Vanderbilt. I'm going to leave a link in the description box, but what you can do also is you just have to go to Vanderbilt University Postgraduate Apply. I'm going to open this link. So here you see that the fee is $95, but as we already saw, there is a lot of um, waivers. So the application process these are the requirements. Some university, some programs are required. We could see that the jury was weighed for some programs. Others will not require it. The language proficiency is waived. There is a transcript, um, which you could do unofficial. Your statement of purpose. I've shown you a video on how to write it. So letters of recommendation. This is also a video of the letters of recommendation. Some professors will ask you to draft it. Use this video to draft it for them. If they also write it and give it to you, use this information in this video, make some corrections and ask your professor if they could edit these ones into it. This is the application fee. We've already looked at that. It has a waiver. These are the fellowships and research training programs. And you could also reapply. You can defer your admission. So let's say you want to apply. As I said, it will be in the next video that I will talk about. So I will show you how to apply. So I'm waiting for you and to hear from me again. Bye. But before I go in the comment section, leave in the comment section the program you are looking for a scholarship in. And I will try my best to help you. Bye.